Hey guys, hey everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. You know it's your girl Twin D and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Thank you for being here and if you have not joined the camp guys, please do so because this is where you need to be to find out what you need about your twin flame journey, how to heal yourself and how to get into union. All right, guys, let's jump straight into your message. This is messages from your guys. Let's see what they have to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Wow. So I didn't have to wait long to get an answer. You have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I got that. Listen, listen, the feeling that I got when I was reading that card. Your heart knows when you're happy. Your heart will let you know when you're happy. If your heart is feeling this tight, unbearable, dark feeling, what, however you want to describe it, that sadness, and your heart wants to be happy. So your heart is letting you know to extend that lighthearted energy to others. Because the same way you will extend that lighthearted energy to others is the same way you're going to extend that sadness that you're feeling to others. So, 404, flirt a little bit. You got wedding and you have separation. So some of us here need to know that there are some divine masculines who may be breaking free from a situation that they were connected to here. This situation involves marriage and time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Like I said, this is messages from your guides. They see all, they know all, and that's why they're our guides. Because they see left, right, center, top, bottom, everywhere they see. They're seeing and they're knowing and they're telling us that these things are being broken. Which is exactly why you should extend your lighthearted energy to others. Your divine masculine may also need your protection, may also need that happiness because they're going through heartbreaking moments right now. And again, once you like feel that heartbreak, try to get yourself back into that positive energy because what you're feeling it could be from your person especially if it just comes on so sudden and you have no idea why you're feeling so sad i'm getting that these divine feminines are they're they're in their more um free energy feeling free feeling free And your divine masculines are breaking themselves apart. Setting themselves apart from these situations that have been holding them back. Heart to heart conversation. So there's communication coming in for you. There's communication coming in. And this communication is happening because your divine masculines are figuring out what true love really is. And that's why they're breaking free from their situation because they want to experience true love. They realize the situations that they're in. This is not true love. It's not. Look in this picture. I always look at it. This person is not even looking at their bride. It's like the bride wants to get married. But the groom doesn't. Like they're just doing it for doing its sake. Okay, let's just get this over with. And she's looking at him like, I got you now. Like, yeah, we're getting married. But the groom doesn't want to get married. 
because the groom himself knows that there is no love in this situation. Like, like they're just doing it because my parents said so. This was arranged. Society says so. I'm obligated to this person now because I put them in a certain situation. But that situation is falling apart. There was a Torah moment within that situation. There was a Torah moment. Now your Divine Masculines, they really want to experience something new here. So Divine Feminines, this is what your guides want you to know today. They want you to know that your connection is protected. You and your Divine Masculines are protected. There's a conversation that you and your Divine Masculines are going to have. And you are to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And when you're discussing your feelings with each other, it doesn't mean you're going to be flaring up and, and, and responding in anger or you can't even wait for the person to finish talking. So you jump in, you butt in because you're not hearing what you want to hear. It's not about what you want to hear, Divine Feminine. It's about what the masculines are feeling. In order to understand where they're coming from, you've got to hear. You've got to hear it. And like I'm always telling you, Listen to understand, not to respond. And you're going to get that chance to exercise that phrase I just said. Listen to understand where they're coming from. And don't just listen because you want to say, okay, finish talk because I want to talk now. I want to say something after. I want you to know how I feel, so hurry up and finish talking so I can tell you how I feel. No. In order to understand someone and a situation, you've got to first hear. You've got to first hear them. Not just listening to what they're saying, but actually hearing them. By penetrating on every single word they're saying. Because you want to understand where they're coming from. And in doing so, your communication skills will get better. Your understanding skills will get better. Your compassion will get better. And you will also gain more respect from your person because sometimes your person is coming from a situation where they're not normally listened to. And when you act in those ways, it's the same thing that pushes them away. Because that's what I'm experiencing over there. So why is it that I should take it from this person that says that they love me? then that is just showing me that everybody is just a liar. Everybody just says, I love you because they want a word to come out of their mouth. That's why you got to behave differently, divine feminines. Divine, that's how you got to behave. Someone asked the question, how do I know when I'm divine? And my response to them was, when you start living the way God wants you to live, when you start doing what God wants you to do when you start living the way like God used to live, loving everybody, being patient, and most importantly, being forgiving. When you start doing those things, then that's how you know that you're divine because you're living like God. God is divine. And we are like God. That's why we are called divine. And that's why we have to go through all these situations that we're experiencing because we got to release the negative so we can get back into our divine self. So, this person is coming back in here brand new, washed clean, ready for romance, ready for love. So you just got to trust this situation. It is calling for you to have faith. Your guides are at work. Your guides are leading your Divine Masculines back to you. So you just got to trust and have faith. And oh yes, and keep working on yourselves. Your guides are all around you too. Your guides follow you guys around. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's exactly what I was saying in regards to learning to hold back. So that you can understand where someone is coming from. When you respect yourself, 
you respect others. And by you respecting yourself, others will also respect you. You treat people in ways that you want them to treat you. So if you want to shout and yell at someone, expect them to shout and yell back at you. If you don't want to listen to someone, expect them not to listen to you. And your divine masculines and others will respect you even more because you're not like everyone else. Let's see what messages they have, your guides. What other message do you have for your divine feminines here, please, guides? What other message? Miracles have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Just trust. Just trust. Surrender the how. Look at this. Trust 1101. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. You gotta have faith. You gotta trust. It's hard. But the one thing is, don't give up. Don't give up. When you fall down, you get back up. Don't give up. Don't let go off of this situation. Do not let go off of God. You are God's servants. You are going to have turbulent moments to deal with. <laughs> you are. Expect it. God was persecuted himself. So what do, what do you think is going to happen to you, the little foot servant here? Well, not saying that in a negative way, but just to show that God is much higher than we are. And he was persecuted, 414. So what do you expect from us, little servants? We will be persecuted too. And it will be harder on us because the devil is stronger than we are. And that's why we got to hold on to God. We got to hold on to God so God can help fight. Not help fight. God can fight our battles for us. Because we cannot fight what we cannot see. And the devil is spiritual. So let the spiritual master deal with it while you focus on yourself. Growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. That's exactly it. And that's the reason I'm here. To teach you guys. To help you guys see things that you wouldn't normally see. And that's why we got to drop the ego. Because some of us believe that because we know one thing and we feel one thing and we're holding on to one thing, that's what it is. But again, if you listen carefully, if you listen carefully to others, if you listen carefully to the people who are teaching you, you will understand more and you will realize that some things that you're holding on to, that's not the way it should be. Especially if the person trying to teach you has no in ill intention towards you and has never directed you in any negative light. Our ego is a big thing and we need to put it down because our ego is very heavy, very heavy, and it causes damage when we try to hold on to it. What else do you have to say to these divine feminines, please? You have prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. So you're also going to improve in your finances. So it's not only love that's coming your way. Money is also coming. Because God's people, they have to be cared for. They have to be protected. And God will do so. He will provide. He will always provide. He will send people in your way that you never knew would be there. But you just got to trust him to see it. You just got to trust him to see it. Na nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. And gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. That's it. Always speak words of love no matter what. And strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. Look at what you're learning on your twin flame journey. Look at how you're changing. And if you're not changing, then you're doing something wrong. Because this journey, this challenge, is meant to change you. 
into the best version of yourself. If you're being changed into the worst version of you, then there's something definitely wrong here. There is something definitely wrong. And we need to figure that out so we can fix it. And we will get through to the other side. We will win. We just got to trust, hold on to God, and work on ourselves. You have courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Life Review, Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. That's it. Like I said, those things that are not working out for you. We got to identify them so we can heal them. So we can remove them. Remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You're a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Remember who you are. Like I said, we are God's servant. And you are very loved. God will protect you in every way, shape, or form. He will provide for you. Always. Chakra clearing, Archangel Metatron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So some of us, we are on balance. And we need, see, we are on balance. We need to be balanced. And how do we do that? We have to seek guidance from our guides. Healthy lifestyle, Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthful diet. Get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. So some of us really need to work on our health like, yeah, like me, you know, like me. <laughs> Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So this is a perfect time to move towards your dreams, your desires, to take advantage of the possibilities. This was left on the box, Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love, so you can see God's love for you. So you hold on to God's promises. All right, let's see what else they have for us here. Respect is a foundation of love. Like I was saying to you, div um, Divine Feminines, you got to show your Divine Masculines that you respect them. Give them their chance to speak. Give them their, their, their time to be alone. Give them their time to make up their own mind, to make their own decisions. Respect. They're not getting it elsewhere. And this person that claims that they are a Divine Feminine and they were made for me, if you are treating them the same way like others, then you're no different from others. Give them the respect that they deserve. Forgiveness is needed. To forgive is to heal. Yeah, so we got to let go off of things from the past here. We got to let go off of things from the past. And I said it before. To be divine, you've got to be able to forgive. That's one of the most important things in being divine. To be able to forgive because God forgives each and every single one of us no matter who we are and you've got to be able to do the same thing act the same way appreciate the present stop thinking about the past stop looking too far ahead in the future that's how we come to conclusions like this is not gonna happen because things are this way now I can't see it happening because I don't see anything happening now get out of the future Start paying attention to your present moment, to now. Work on now. God will take care of the future. And you just got to forgive and forget about the past. I thank God for you every day. Stand strong for both of us. Cry to release, not to stay down. So when you're experiencing all those negative emotions go ahead cry release them acknowledge that they're there what you're doing is learning to control those emotions learning to control your sadness 
Because when you bottle it up on the inside and you refuse to let it out, then it becomes worse. Until one day you burst and get out of control. Cry if you must, but do not stay down in your negative energy. And let me give you a quote that I, I wrote. I think I had it on my Instagram. You know, if we are supposed to focus on our past, our eyes will be in the back of our heads. Let me say that again. If we are supposed to fo if we were supposed to focus on our past, our eyes would be in the back of our heads. Trademark, do not steal. <laughs> okay? So pay attention to your now and do not look too far into your present. And that's why we cannot see too far ahead of us either. Because we are supposed to focus on what's here in front of us. Let go and let God, everyone. And I see you at your next message. For a reading or a book, go to twindflamed.square.site for your protection bracelets, money magnet bracelets, chakra bracelets, and also your keychains, your money magnet keychain, protection keychains. Go to Twindy Holistic Boutique. That's square. That's site. Let go and let God, everyone. Later.